Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. <laughs> we're getting there. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's sick. Yeah, we, we are. Oh, <laughs> that's so sick. Hey, how's it going? So recently me and the boys have been doing a bit more of creative photography rather than always going on those hectic road trips and just relying on a cool location to get a good shot. We've just been getting really random with it. Like in my last video, I got a model and I got her hair to come towards the camera, just weird shit like that. So today we're gonna be doing another one of those photography ideas, but first we gotta go pick up the boys. You got any idea what we're doing today? No fucking clue. What is the actual idea? Well, first off, I haven't even finished editing the photo battle. And <laughs> I haven't even, smells yeah, great. I haven't cleaned my teeth. <laughs> oh, oh. I had this idea of like just getting like this water hose. I don't know how this will work, but you know how like with like hoses, how you do this and it creates like a swirl? Yeah. If we could do that, that towards the lens, awesome. I reckon the leading lines mm, could be sick. Be cool. Do we have a location for this shoot? No. Because we need a hose. Shouldn't it be here? Shouldn't we just do it in your backyard? Yes. Yeah, then why are we all- Cheers. <laughs> why are we- Oh, what's that? So I don't have just... a hose. Do we need- Wait, what do you mean you don't have a hose? Dude, I don't exactly have a garden to like hose. Everyone has a hose in Dude, their house. Dude, I just moved to Melbourne. What do you mean? I don't think I have a hose either. I have a hose. What do you use it for? For, what, for watering the garden, like for, everyone. For, 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 shut up! I'm gonna look for it. I don't believe. I don't you. have a hose. I, I swear don't believe to, you. I swear to my mom. It's got to be a hose. Everyone's got a hose. I don't believe that. Uh, hose, hose. Oh, here's one. Best Mate, best. that is a hose. Dude, that's abandoned. Dude. We also need to get something to put in front of your lens. That plastic bag that you bought. I is brought not this. Going, this that's, dude, that's, that's gonna, gonna work. work. Look at that. That's, that's Does that look good? You <laughs> yeah. think that looks no, good? Well, let's go get that first because yeah. we need that to take this photo. Do you guys have picture frames or like something clear like perspex or something? So we've got the A3 piece of glass which is inside this picture frame. So once we take this out, that will be what we can use to cover the camera so that the water doesn't go in it. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Woo! Oh! <laughs> we're getting there. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Oh, oh that's <laughs> sick. Yeah, we, we are. Oh. That's so sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those leading lines. I reckon if we had like the water even thicker. Thick. Dude, look at that. Fuck. That's fucked. I'm not risking that. I don't give a fuck. Come on, one more. Do you want to pay for my camera if it breaks? One more shot. If you pay for it, if it breaks, I will we'll do it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's what <laughs> I thought. I'm going to wrap this up so that my camera doesn't actually get wet. Because oh. all I need is a screen. So if I can see the screen and do that, then I know where the shutter is, we're good. Yeah. Let's do it again. I reckon Lamont needs to be at a way lower angle. Yeah. I reckon we'll try that now. Check yeah. that out, bro. We're getting there. Oh, yeah. that's sick. That's sharp. Dude, it's actually got like, you know those little star reflections? Like, you know, you know yeah. in the cartoons when it goes like, ching? Yeah. It's got ching. that. If Lamont shakes the hose, like, just like, <laughs> shakes it as hard as he can. <laughs> So we can get heaps of particles. I think that will be a really cool shot as well. Dude, you thought the other photos were sick? There is so many particles here, dude. This is awesome. What the <laughs> hell? There's so many. That, what? Yeah. Dude. No way. Dude, look at, look at these. That's sick. <laughs> what the? Yeah. I'll 
apart from my last video where I went out with that model and we got really creative with her and did all that sort of creative photography, I haven't really done much weird photography ideas and today's one being a, a bloody hose, like who would ever think to do this sort of photography? The last time I remember doing that with a hose was when I was like five years old in the backyard. So it was actually really funny to get back into this. So with the first photos, I noticed that Le Mans was way too far away from the camera and it was, it was just too much negative space and the particles of water weren't what we wanted. Like they were just, it was just too far away. You can still see here, there's like, that one looks cool. We've got some nice particles here. We've still captured that one particle here, but it's just not what we wanted. We wanted it to be way closer. Instead of shooting from the low angle, I stood up and I got on the same level as Le Mans, which helped a lot. And the hose was about 30 centimeters away from the actual camera. So we ended up getting this shot here. We got this photo here. You can see the water a bit more. There's a bit more in focus. And this one here looks sick. Like I personally never really do really high shutter speed. This was shot at one four thousandth, one four, one four thousandth of a second. And that, I, I just never use that. So to see how that shutter speed can freeze time, like literally it just froze that frame in time. I told Lamont, I'm like, all right, just get the hose and just go crazy with it, whatever. Just get as many particles as you possibly can. And this is exactly what I wanted. I'm actually mesmerized by these photos. You can just look at it for so long. There's just so many particles coming towards the lens. There's stuff that's in focus, stuff that's out of focus. The whole frame is filled up. If you're gonna go out and do this type of photography, I'd recommend using a piece of clear plastic as opposed to glass, just because it can break. And if glass breaks in your hand, you're gonna get cuts all over your hand. So the next time I do this shoot, I'm definitely gonna get a piece of Perspex. Other than that, this shoot was pretty easy and it produced some really cool photos, so I was happy with it. And I'm definitely gonna be doing some more creative photography ideas. So leave down any ideas you have below. As weird as it can be, because the weirder it is, usually the more creative and just better the photo will look. Also, for these photos, I edited them using my Lightroom presets and I, I didn't wanna to go too overboard with the edits. So I used my Cinematic Vibes preset and then I just toned it down a little bit just to give it a subtle edit. If you wanna go download my presets, they're in the link in the description. They come with 20 Lightroom presets for day, night, and drone. And they also come with individual tutorials. So every single preset that I have, I have a video explaining what photo you should use it on if you encounter a problem, how you can fix it. So you're not just gonna be left stranded. And it also comes with 20 of my raw images. If you wanna go check that out, I'll leave a link to where you can get them down below. That's all from me today. I hope you liked this video. And as always, stay inspired, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one.